at the end of Leo Says 48, I said, Ice Lake for the end of this year is really important, by which I meant Ice Lake SP for servers. Intel has to get Ice Lake SP correct, otherwise it's a sign that 10 nanometer is doomed and therefore it's all catastrophe, and if 10 nanometer is doomed, what chance is there for 7 nanometer? That was my train of thought, as I said in that last Leo Says. Since then, semi-accurate, i.e. Charlie Emergen, has come out to say that in his opinion, Ice Lake SP is so flawed that it simply should not be launched. So logically Intel needs to move on to Sapphire Rapids as ho-ho rapidly as they possibly can and just put the early, well it's not even the early stages, the current stages of the 10 nanometer behind them. Before we go any further, are you subscribed? If you're not subscribed, hit that bell button which is somewhere around here. Thank you very much. That all seems plausible enough, can't really argue with that, but I have a glimmer of hope to offer and that glimmer of hope is Tiger Lake. Luke and myself saw Tiger Lake at CES of this year. At the time Intel included Tiger Lake in their keynote, they had a special secret showcase that was so secret that we weren't initially invited to it, so we kind of basically busted down the door actually. And they had good stuff to show, that's where we talked among other things about the NUC Extreme. But Tiger Lake was there and Intel was really keen to tell us how good Tiger Lake was. And I have to be honest, I wasn't that impressed. It looked to me like Tiger Lake was Ice Lake plus a certain percentage. They were talking about things like artificial intelligence and that just leaves me cold. I may well have been wrong. And the reason I say that is a number of leaks that have come together quite recently from Momomo and also on video cards that deliver some details that suggest that Tiger Lake might be a lot better than I had first anticipated and I have to tell you I really hope this is correct. While Tiger Lake looks similar to Ice Lake it is actually significantly different. Ian Cutress Anantech did some analysis of uh, a photo he got of a wafer at that same secret event at CES. Ice Lake is typically 122 square mil while Tiger Lake is 146 square mil. Inside Ice Lake, you've got Sunny Cove cores and 64 execution units of Gen 11 graphics. Inside Tiger Lake, you've got Willow Cove cores and 96 execution units of their, is it XE or is it Z? Anyway, Raja's graphics. In other words, significantly different. Packaging appears to be conventional, no Foveros, no stacking, no 2.5D, no 3D. The way Intel was showing Tiger Lake at CES, it, it really disappointed me if I'm entirely frank. They showed some gameplay which was all right, and then they were showing really specific filters in video and photo. And in those particular tasks, which Intel had clearly cherry picked and presumably had worked on with Adobe, it was brilliant. So I walked away from CES thinking, well, when Tiger Lake comes, I'll be interested to see it, of course, but I'm not holding out any great hopes. According to video cards, Intel is going to announce Tiger Lake on the 2nd of September, so only a few weeks away. There's one particular piece of information that's piqued my interest in Tiger Lake, and that is the clock speeds. Ice Lake clock speeds are frankly awful. The performance of Ice Lake isn't bad, but the clock speeds are so poor it really drags Ice Lake down. Again, according to video cards, the clock speeds of Tiger Lake U appear to be stunning. Base speed of the two iron parts, 2.8 gigahertz or three gigahertz. Maximum turbo speed, 4.7 gigahertz. Real clock speeds. Tiger Lake U sounds like it might be genuinely something to be interested in. And then we get the other half of the recent info. Compal, which is a Taiwanese uh, laptop ODM, they released their annual report back in May of 2020. It's just recently that, I think again, this is Momomo, dug up some info from way inside it. From that Compal report, we have a number of points of interest. One is that Tiger Lake U is gonna launch with LPDDDR5 memory. DDDR5 in a laptop in September 2020. Presumably the processor is going to have support for both DDR5 and DDR4 memory, but if Tiger Lake U is coming out with brand new memory, that's definitely of interest, and it's LP memory. Intel can use low power memory successfully. AMD at the moment appears to have problems. Ryzen 4000 running LP memory appears to run into the uh, infinity fabric valley of death where the clock speed is dragged down to crazy low numbers. Intel doesn't have that problem or shouldn't have that problem. 
and LP DDR5. Did not see that one coming. But further notes, Intel will launch 14 nanometer Rocket Lake in the desktop mid-range at the end of Q4 2020. We knew that. It's going to be very late this year, but that's the Intel 11th gen with uh, PCI Express Gen 4. No surprises. Also in Q4 2020, Intel Jasper Lake, which is a quad-core Atom, 10 nanometer for Chromebooks. Okie dokie. That's not our market, not massively interested. Then we have 8-core Tiger Lake H on 10 nanometer in Q1 2011. Clearly they mean 2021 there, i.e. a few quarters away. And that is with DDR4, hence my comment about uh, dual uh, memory controllers. So 8-core Tiger Lake H, if Tiger Lake U is anything to go by and Tiger Lake H is basically the same but double, that could be interesting. A further note, Intel will not launch 14 nanometer products in 2021. Now this is a report written months ago and clearly they're looking ahead and they're repeating what they've been told. So presumably there should be a word in there such as we do not expect that Intel will launch 14 nan blah blah blah. But the significant point there is that Intel will launch Alder Lake on the desktop in 2021 using the LGA1700 socket. If Intel is not using 14 nanometer in 2021 for new products, common sense says that has to be 10 nanometer. I don't know about that. I said previously that I'm sure they want to use 10 nanometer, but not sure whether they will or will not be able to. If they can, obviously, and if it works, then fine. If they're forced to stick with 14 nanometer, I would not be shocked, but fingers crossed. The other thing is Alder Lake, apparently DDR5. Then we get Intel Ice Lake SP 10 nanometer is due in 2020. Well, yes, this is true. This has PCI Express Gen 4 and 8 channel DDR4. This is the part that Charlie says is fated and doomed. Following on from Ice Lake SP, we have Sapphire Rapids in H2 2021. This is the part I referred to previously in, in the last layer says for the Aurora supercomputer. This will be Intel's second 10 nanometer server part and it will use DDR5 memory. Willow Cove cores, PCI Express Gen 5. It sounds to me like it's basically Tiger Lake on, forget steroids, the next level up from steroids, something quite phenomenal. If Intel can deliver Sapphire Rapids in H2 2021, and I hate the idea of already dismissing 2020 and moving on to 2021, but if Sapphire Rapids comes along and is anything like we're hoping to see, that part should put Intel ahead of AMD. At that stage, if I'm correct, AMD will still be on Zen 3 in the mainstream. I'm sure they'll be developing their supercomputer parts using Zen 4 at that stage. But the parts we'll be seeing should be Zen 3, which means that there may be a moment when Intel with Sapphire Rapids has actually pulled ahead of AMD. At that stage in the game, we fully expect AMD to bring out Zen 4, and who knows what happens at that stage. That could be absolutely intriguing. But anyway, let's not speculate too far. Sapphire Rapids next year sounds as though it ought to be blooming good, but then everything sounds good on paper, doesn't it? So let's not get too excited. But Tiger Lake launching in September, and then hopefully available for review soon after, Tiger Lake that product matters. Tiger Lake sounds as though it should be considerably more than Ice Lake, and let's face it, that's not a high standard to pass. But if Tiger Lake U delivers, then Intel might potentially be getting back on track. And much as I hate to say it, we need both AMD and Intel delivering solid goods to keep the competition alive. As always, put your comments below, keep it polite. This is after all heavily in the realms of speculation, but Tiger Lake is coming soon. I'm Leo Wood for Kick Guru, and this was Leo Says.